In the United States, there are more than 800 species of birds. Just imagine how many different birds there are throughout the world. For years and years, the sight of a bird in flight has inspired men to take to the air, even imitating our feathered friends, sometimes at great embarrassment, but eventually at great success. Many birds are symbolic. The United States adopted the bald eagle as a symbol of freedom. The turkey symbolizes America's Thanksgiving holiday. And even professional sports teams have adopted birds as their mascots. It seems that birds have special meaning to many people. So grab your binoculars and your guidebook. We're going for an adventure into the wilderness for a closer look at the birds on this unspoiled planet. The Earth is an aviary filled with an amazing variety of birds, delighting us with their colorful feathers and their melodious songs. And some even make a tasty meal. Coastal birds from tropical regions closer to the equator, like Florida and Central America, are some of the most colorful creatures on the planet. They come in all shapes and sizes. Now, let's venture into the air, the forests, and the coastline to see what's out there. The scarlet macaw is a magnificent and colorful bird belonging to the parrot family. There are several types of macaws. Males and females are similar in appearance with bright red feathers and bits of yellow, orange, and blue on the wings. From head to tail, they are about 35 inches long and have two outer toes pointing backwards that grip in opposition to the two forward pointing toes. They live in the high elevations of the rainforest where they nest in holes high up in the trees. They eat fruits, nuts, flowers, and nectar, often the unripe fruit and nuts that other animals avoid. The macaws are seed predators, meaning they destroy the seeds that they eat and do not disperse them. Macaws are also in the habit of eating clay from riverbanks, supposedly to aid their digestion. Macaws are monogamous. Sometimes they express affection by licking each other's faces. They usually live in pairs and sometimes form groups to create a flock of several hundred. Typical predators of the scarlet macaw are snakes, monkeys, toucans, and other large mammals. But scarlet macaws have wide, strong wings and can fly at 35 miles per hour to escape their predators. To the Mayans, these birds were sacred, representing the daylight and the rising sun. They held ceremonies in their honor and many lords and rulers of Mayan cities took the name Macaw for themselves to magnify their personality and power. Many people like to keep these birds as household pets. The birds become very attached to their owners and are known for their ability to quickly learn and repeat a limited number of words. However, many pet owners do not anticipate the damage a scarlet macaw can do with its large beak or the fact they can live to be 75 years old and are very loud. Unfortunately, its popularity as a pet and the loss of territory in the rainforest has endangered the existence of this brilliant bird. Another exotic bird is the keel-billed toucan. It is the national bird of Belize. Locals call it the bill bird. Its huge, colorful bill, yellow, orange, red, green, and black, is the most recognizable characteristic of the toucan. The toucan's bill is made out of keratin, the same material as our fingernails and toenails. They nest in tree cavities made by other animals in the humid forest, where they like to eat a wide variety of tropical fruits. The toucans often return to the same nest year after year. Unlike the scarlet macaw, these birds spit out the seeds, sometimes great distances from where they started eating. This gives the fruit trees a better chance of reproducing again. 
Toucans also like to eat insects, lizards, snakes, and even the eggs of smaller birds. The toucan, like the scarlet macaw, has four toes on each foot, two that go forward and two that go backwards. Keel-billed toucans are only about 20 inches long and highly social, often in groups of six or more. Here is another bird with an enormous bill, the jabiru stork. Standing five feet tall with a wingspan of eight feet, this is one of the largest flying birds in the Western Hemisphere. In Belize, the locals call this bird Turk or Filimingo. With its heavy bill, about 12 inches long, the jabiru catches fish, amphibians, reptiles, insects, and small mammals. Jabiru's are silent and fly with slow, methodical wing beats as they cruise over the water looking for prey. Although the population of storks in Belize is the strongest for all of Central America, Jabiru is a rare and endangered species. These big birds only stay in Belize from November to June. They nest at the top of very tall trees in the savanna. Savannas typically have extended dry and wet seasons, are fire dependent, and are home to many evolving plants, animals, and insects. Clearing and drainage for agriculture and development has put this habitat at risk, and the species that call it home are also at risk. Each year, the female jabiru lays two to four eggs. Both male and female take turns incubating the eggs. When the rainy season starts, they fly north to Mexico, sometimes ending up in Texas. Florida is known as a haven for interesting birds such as herons, pelicans, and terns. But Florida also hosts a large number of bald eagles. After this break, Unspoiled Planet takes a closer look at the symbol of American freedom, the bald eagle. <laughs> Once near extinction, the number of bald eagles has grown tremendously. In fact, the recovery of the eagles has been a huge success. Today, the biggest threats to the eagles are loss of habitat and contaminants, toxic chemicals in the environment. Although it is generally thought that bald eagles tend to avoid close contact with people, some eagles make their nests close to houses and other development. The female bald eagle is slightly larger than the male. She has a wingspan of 79 to 90 inches. They weigh from 10 to 14 pounds. In the wild, bald eagles may live as long as 30 years, but the average lifespan is probably about 15 to 20 years. The amazing bald eagle has 7,000 feathers. They are lightweight, hollow, very strong, and extremely flexible. Feathers function to control the eagle's temperature and the heat and the cold by trapping layers of air. By changing the position of its feathers, the eagle can cool off or warm up to maintain its body temperature of 102. The bald eagle is known for its superior eyesight. An eagle's eye is so sharp, it can spot a rabbit moving almost a mile away and is capable of seeing fish in the water from several hundred feet above. Another bird with a keen eye is the red-shouldered hawk. They are a common sight in Florida and are one of the most beautiful and distinctively marked hawks in North America. These birds are the most numerous and widely distributed breeding hawk in Florida. Red-shouldered hawks are often seen in swampy woods and bogs, favoring woodlands near water. The hawk grows to about 16 to 24 inches tall. Notice its long wings with white bars, its reddish shoulders, and banded tail. The southern Florida variety is the palest, having a gray head and very faint barring on the chest. They live all over the United States, particularly on the East Coast, depending on the time of the year. Farmers tend to view the red-shouldered hawk as a friend because its diet of squirrels, rabbits, mice, moles, and lizards keeps them out of the crops. 
Look at this hawk going after a snake. The hawk's nest is usually located in the main crotch of a tree like this one. Here, the hawk feeds its chicks. A hawk will typically lay a clutch of two to five eggs. There are five subspecies of red-shouldered hawks. In Florida, their population appears stable. Along most of the southeastern coast of the United States, osprey are abundant. Here in Florida, they are a common sight. The fish hawk, as the osprey is also known, is a large raptor. It grows to be two feet long with a wing spread of five feet and long, sharp talons. The osprey is the only diurnal bird of prey that feeds exclusively on live fish. Watch this osprey hunt. While in flight, it scans the water for fish. With the target in sight, the osprey folds its wings tightly and dives swiftly, entering the water feet first often submerging completely and snatches its prey. Watch as it repeatedly dive bombs into the water until he captures his meal. Once in the safety of a tree, the osprey can relax and enjoy the catch of the day. Ospreys usually mate for life and build their large nest in conspicuous places like channel markers and duck blinds high above the ground or water to protect their young. Among the exotic collection of birds in Florida is the unusual burrowing owl. The city of Cape Coral, Florida has the largest population of burrowing owls in the world. These little birds, about the size of a soda can, may symbolize the ability of man to respectfully coexist with wildlife. Florida burrowing owls are one of the smallest members of the owl family, and they have amazing bright yellow eyes. Yellow eyes are predominant, but some owls have chocolate, olive, and straw-colored eyes. The male can dig a burrow in two days with his feet. Since the Florida burrowing owl doesn't migrate, they use the same burrow year after year. It is common for the male to dig a second burrow, a satellite burrow, where they can escape predators. While most owls are nocturnal, the burrowing owl is diurnal, meaning it hunts during the day for food such as moles, mice, and insects. They are quite comfortable sharing their turf with humans. Because the owls easily adapt to developed areas, burrows are found close to roadways, near busy commercial areas, and often in residential neighborhoods. When unspoiled planet continues, woodpeckers, herons, bobolinks, and more of the world's most fascinating birds. Woodpeckers are a common sight in the U.S. Woodpeckers can be found all over the world, living in wooded areas and even residential neighborhoods. There are more than 200 different types of woodpeckers. Two of them are on the endangered species list. Woodpeckers are known for hammering away at tree trunks with their strong pointed beak to excavate a place to nest and to feed on insects living in crevices in the bark. Woodpeckers tap an estimated 8,000 to 12,000 times per day. Each year, woodpeckers drill new nest holes. Males and females work together to excavate a cavity in a tree that is used as a nest and to incubate eggs for about two weeks. Typically, they abandon the nest after a month. When tapping, the woodpecker presses its stiff tail feathers against the tree for support. Unlike most birds, woodpeckers have two sharp claws pointed forward and two pointed backwards for extra gripping power while chiseling on a tree. The woodpecker also has a very long tongue, twice the length of its bill, tipped with spear-like barbs that impale insects hiding in the bark. They also like to eat fruit, acorns, and nuts. 
tapping on trees is also a way woodpeckers communicate. It is also a part of their courtship behavior. Woodpeckers live an average of 4 to 11 years and range in size from 6 to 9 inches long. The largest species is about 22 inches long. The smallest species at 6 inches long. This is the red cockaded woodpecker. They are commonly seen in the southern United States. And this is the red-bellied woodpecker. It is the size of a common cardinal, 7 inches long, with a wingspan of about 15 inches. These woodpeckers live along most of the east coast of the U.S., from New Jersey to Florida, and even as far west as Texas. Its back is barred with black and white horizontal stripes. The red cockaded woodpecker's most distinguishing feature is a black cap and nape that encircle large white cheek patches. This bird derives its name from a rarely visible small red streak on each side of its black cap called a cockade. Great white herons live in a fairly limited range and are concentrated in the Florida Keys and Everglades National Park. It is rarely seen outside of these areas. They are tall, slim birds that grow to lengths of 50 to 54 inches. Herons like to eat fish, frogs, snakes, and small mammals. The great white heron is often confused with the great egret. The great white heron is a variation of the great blue heron. These birds can be either blue or white. Great blue and great white herons are alike except for their color. Here is the blue heron the largest and most widespread heron in North America. They can be found along the ocean shore or the edge of a small inland pond. The bobolink is a songbird that has attracted the attention of many poets. They live in prairies and meadows in areas ranging from Canada, Northern California, Colorado, and Pennsylvania. In the winter, they migrate to South America. Its flight song is described as a series of joyous, bubbling, tumbling, gurgling phrases with each note on a different pitch. It is a small, 6 to 8 inch bird that is known to gather in large numbers in southern rice fields to feed, earning them the nickname Rice Bird. The bobolink is the only American bird that is black underneath and white on the back. The male's color changes after breeding. He is quite a performer, singing in flight, usually 30 or 40 feet off the ground or while perched upon a fence or some low foliage. White pelicans are one of the world's largest birds. They weigh between 11 and 18 pounds and have a wingspan up to 9 feet. They are a common sight in Florida during the winter months. In the spring and summer, they can be found as far north as Canada. They gather food out of the water, scooping up fish, salamanders, frogs, and other aquatic life with its long, flat bill, then using its bright yellow-orange pouch to strain the good from the bad. The birds are very social and group their nests together in colonies. In the wild, pelicans can live for as long as 14 years. There are seven species of pelicans. The brown pelican is unique because it is the only dark pelican and also the only one that plunges from the air into the water to catch its food. It is found along the ocean shores and not on inland lakes. The limpkin is a large, long-necked, long-legged wading bird commonly found in marshlands off Florida, the Caribbean, and South America. It has a wingspan of about 42 inches and is two feet long. It feeds on small aquatic life, principally snails. The limpkin's bill is specially designed to pull snails from their shells. Watch as this limpkin eats. The drainage of wetland areas and resulting loss of habitat for the snails threatens the limpkin. Its range is limited to Florida and the numbers are declining. 
A medium to large shorebird with a long bill that prefers saltwater areas is the short-billed dowager. Actually, its bill appears fairly long. It's twice as long as its head. The bill is short only when compared to its cousin, the long-billed dowager. The short-billed dowager is a foot long and weighs about four ounces. Swans like it here in Florida too. They are large birds, about 50 inches long with a long neck, short legs, and a bill much like its friend, the duck. There are three species of grackle. This is the boat-tailed grackle. Males and females differ in overall color. This is the female, a cinnamon brown bird with dark wings. Males are all glossy black. They both have a long and narrow black beak and a long tail compared to crows and other blackbirds. Grackles eat insects, crabs, shellfish, seeds, lizards, frogs, turtles, plant roots, grain, and food scavenged from humans. The American coot is a gray, duck-like bird with a white bill. They are about 15 inches long and live in open ponds and marshes. Not only are these expert swimmers found in Florida and other tropical areas, they can also be seen in the Midwest United States and as far north as Canada. A bird that breeds along the Atlantic coast from North Carolina southward along the Gulf Coast to Mexico and throughout the Caribbean to South America is the white ibis. It has a long, down-curved, bright red bill and long red legs. The white ibis stands about two feet tall and weighs about two pounds. They are plentiful in Florida and flock in large numbers. White ibises like to eat crayfish, crabs, insects, fish, and even snakes. The prothonotary warbler is a little songbird with brilliant golden-orange underparts contrasted by a prominent dark eye. They winter in southern Mexico and Central America and spend the rest of the year scattered across the Midwest and Eastern U.S. The wonders of the world are all around us. In the air, the trees, the water, and on the ground, on this unspoiled planet.